All right, hey everybody, Josh here from Silka, uh, answering more of your questions. And today we've got, uh, we're gonna go a little bit different from what we've been doing lately, and that is we're gonna answer a common question we've had lately, really since I'd say around the Unbound time coming forward, and that is, if you guys are so all in on wax, and if wax is the best thing going, why do you make these guys? Synergetic and Synergy. That's a good question. Why do we make oil-based lubes when we say the future is wax and wax is the best solution to the chain lube problem? Well, we're going to get into that right now. All right, helping us here uh, in this discussion of why are we doing two oil-based lubes along with our range of wax products when we say front and center wax is the fastest, longest lasting, best overall option uh, for a bicycle chain? Well, the answer is we knew up front that not everybody was going to be into waxing because of the cleaning. Um, and I have to say, you know, when we did these products initially, uh, we were still teaching you guys that you would get the, the mason jars or the water bottles and do the multi-step soak and rinse and shake and rinse um, process before you could apply either uh, the drip wax or the hot wax. That was a bit of a pain. We knew it. So we launched the Chain Stripper product, which has been so insanely successful um, that it really brought a lot more people to waxing. And of course, now we have Strip Chip, uh, which if you're choosing to hot melt wax, you can uh, strip the chain right in the hot wax. So game changer. It's brought a ton of people into the world of waxing, but you know, I get it. It's not for everybody. Not everybody wants to buy the pot. Not everybody has the space. It, and then there are some real legitimate other concerns. You know, people say, I, I live in Ireland and my bike lives in a shed. What about uh, corrosion? Uh, you know, as the wax flakes off, the chain becomes, uh, you know, potentially open to corrosion, especially on the pins of the sort of lower to moderate end chains. Um, you can have corrosion. There's a lot of people who just buy a bike and want to buy a bottle of something and put it over the top of the factory lube and have that ultimate, ultimately be the solution. We really get that. Um, and then at the very high performance range, there are people who say, Josh, you know, I'm doing this huge event, uh, you know, the ride across or race across America or a transcontinental, um, you know, do I really take multiple chains and a wax pot and a, and my boiler and all that, or do I want to take uh, the oil based? And so let's let's really kind of get into into that. And we are going to use, as we have done before in these videos, the zero friction data, which I will put right up on the screen here in front of me. Um, but for my own sanity, I actually have it printed out on some pieces of paper here, so I can speak to it a little bit. Uh, more accurately. So um, you will notice that he's got everything color coded, uh, you know, kind of wax in pink. All the top lubricants, of course, are wax. Um, and then you get into the, the top non wax is Silka Synergetic. Uh, Adam said it best uh, the best non wax lubricant he's ever tested. The number two uh, best non wax lubricant, uh, three places down, is the Synergy. You'll notice, and people have pointed out, looking at these, I mean, they're really different, right? Synergetic has the tungsten disulfide that settles at the bottom and needs to be shaken out, and then it becomes a bit of a dark color. Synergetic has this very dark uh, color overall. That is because Synergetic contains about five times the quantity of additives as uh, the Synergetic. We've got some extra high pressure additives in here. We've got some extra uh, corrosion resistant additives in here. and um, we've got some stuff to help keep them a little bit better in suspension. Uh, the tungsten disulfide still needs to be shaken up. It's quite heavy because it's tungsten, uh, which is some pretty dense and heavy stuff. But the other things can be kept in suspension a little bit better with another one of the additives in here. Why do we make Synergetic and Synergy? Well, my goal with Synergy was the maximum uh, wear resistance under very high torque. You know, you think of, you can put down, you know, say three, 400 watts uh, into your e-bike, which can give you, you know, up to, I know the, the bike that Rico and I commute to work on, mine will give 750 additional watts of power. Um, that is some chain eating wattage right there. And so, you know, Synergy was really developed to adhere to the metal and give you the highest possible resistance there. But it also, in some of the additives we don't exactly name or talk about, 
um, we were really after super, super longevity. If you look at this chart here, right in front of me now, this is the single application longevity for uh, you know, standard, dry, relatively clean uh, conditions. And you see the number one by almost a factor of two lubricant ever tested is Silka Synergy. Single application longevity in clean, dry conditions of 9,400 kilometers, according to the zero friction testing. That is a ton. Second place is, you know, 5,600. Um, Hot Wax X at 4,000. Um, you know, and we, we come down, you see with the, the Synergetic, which is a faster lube, um, not that you care on your e-bike, right? It gives up, say, a watt, but who cares when you got 750 extra or 500 extra. Synergetic will go 2,300 kilometers per application in clean dry conditions while Soka hot melt there uh, is very good f amongst the waxes but it's only 1300 and as you know you know we typically teach uh, you know in the 350 you know kilometer range for a rewaxing sort of a treatment so if you don't have the time energy or want to put the effort into uh, that consistent maintenance you can have longer application intervals in clean dry conditions uh, with an oil-based lube. You know, Synergy also, we say, you know, the E is for e-bike or e-sports. Um, for your indoor trainer, this stuff uh, is amazing. I mean, you can pretty much apply it once uh, per season, more or less, and it, it will really reduce or eliminate wear, um, and it'll keep your chain super quiet for, you know, three, four months of indoor riding. Um, incredibly, incredibly sweat-resistant um, as well. Now, Interestingly, it is not nearly as rain resistant as you see in Adam's testing as some of the other products, and that is because of the very high loads of some of the other uh, the other additives. You'll notice in the testing that Adam does that the more additives a, a really any of the products have in them, particularly the waxes, uh, the the lower the longevity in the rain condition, um, and that's. There's a lot of uh, actually science that we're really working on figuring out. We actually have a project with Purdue working on that right now, but it's a pretty consistent thing. And you'll notice that in our endurance chip, which extends the life of the wax and tends to improve the performance in the rain, uh, there's no additional tungsten disulfide or graphene or um, any additive like that in it. And that is to help um, or to help with longevity. Uh, you know, there is a tiny performance cost from an efficiency uh, wattage efficiency perspective, but it does extend it in the rain. I think the most interesting one on here for me is the Rex uh, 4 plus 1 or 11 plus 1. You know, the more base wax you add, the worse the dry performance, the better the wet performance in Adam's testing. The same is proven true with uh, wet lubes as well as our own wax lube. So, uh, so if you're on the e-bike uh, indoor trainer, Synergy is amazing. You know, if you have a bike, like a commuter bike, you live in the city, you know, in London or something, have a bike that lives outside, the Synergy can actually be really amazing there too because it is so heavily loaded with corrosion-resisting um, chemicals. It, it, again, doesn't do quite as well in Adam's test uh, in the pure rain condition, but that's not a corrosion test, that's a wear, uh, a wear test. If the bike is just sitting around most of the time in bad conditions, Synergy is the one you want. Um, if you're riding in a lot of rain conditions, Synergetic is excellent. And let's look at where Synergetic really, really performs. You know, we look at the single application longevity um, in extreme conditions and the number one product is the AB uh, Graphene Lube. You guys probably know that as the $165 bottle of have to pour it in the baggie and soak it and do all that stuff. Um, it, it's an impressive product, 600 kilometers, um, single application longevity in extreme. The, that's the wet, mud, dirt combined condition that Adam does. Number two, though, at uh, significantly $25 a bottle, uh, Silka Synergetic at 500. You've got Hot Wax X at 450, and Silka Hot Melt at 300. So, kind of fun for us that three of the top four products in extreme conditions are all Silka products. Um, and you see that the Synergetic actually outperforms both the Hot Wax X and the Hot Wax. So, if you're looking for a real mutter, uh, I mean, something really nasty and long, you know, I'm thinking like an unbound in the rain, uh, something along those lines. You know, you can either start with Synergetic um, or you can look at, and this is something that we recommend to a lot of our pro athletes, you know, start on the hot wax chain because it's going to keep dirt out longer. 
Um, and then as it begins to break down, you can apply Synergetic over top of the hot wax. And that application will really do two things. It will help, you know, if you apply it liberally, which you can do with this, this uh, top, opens definitely a bit larger than the uh, needle tip that we initially shipped with. And people ask about that needle tip, so I'll hit it here. You know, Adam and his testing noticed that the droplet with the needle tip was so small that we underperformed in the dirt and the uh, mud conditions because the drop wasn't quite big enough to be excessive. Uh, and the excess lubricant, when it drops out the bottom, will carry some dirt with it. And so we went to this type of bottle where you can control the drop size in dry conditions, use a small one, uh, but in like a, a muddy race condition, use the biggest drop you can use and the excess lube running through the chain will help carry out some of that dirt. I know we've talked about, and Adam's talked uh, you know, quite extensively, that there's no such thing as a self-cleaning lubricant, right? That none of the cleans as it lubes, that really doesn't work. But we do know that ex excess lube will wash some of that gunk out. You could kind of call it cleaning and lubing, uh, but really you call it uh, you know, decontaminating somewhat uh, while adding additional lubricant. It's a whole lot better than not decontaminating well, you add excess lubricant. And, and our testing with the needle tip versus this larger tip um, helped us understand that. So, you know, that's the condition I would say, again, if, if you just don't want to clean the chain and get into wax, I get it. Synergetic is an amazing performing product. Um, extreme rain, extreme mud, the Synergetic really performs exceptionally well. And then I will tell you the place that our pro teams, and we've got, we talk about we're official with Visma. We sell to a number, number of other World Tour teams, um, and they're mostly racing, I would say almost exclusively on hot wax. Um, occasionally, uh, for some very long, you know, disgusting, wet, rainy days, we will use the Synergetic, um, but they love the Synergetic in the derailleur pulley. So if you've spent the money on the OSPW, uh, you know, all the manufacturers of those things uh, pretty strongly recommend cleaning and re-lubricating the bearings every few hundred kilometers. I think some of the recommended service intervals are down as low as the 250, 300 kilometers um, to flush those out and re-lubricate. I will tell you for time trialing, a huge percentage of the top players at the World Tour are using Synergetic in their uh, derailleur pulley bearings in those big time trials. You know, it is uh, thick enough to stay put for 60 to 100 kilometers, I wouldn't use it for too much longer than that. Um, but, you know, it will save you some fractions of a watt. It's incredible at eliminating wear within the bearing. Um, and it is viscous enough that it will stay put and kind of form a nice web sort of coating in there um, at the high velocities or high rotational uh, velocities that, that those pulleys uh, run at when you're going fast. So. Yeah, there you go. When, why would you make Synergetic? When would you use it? Well, the worse the conditions, the more likely you are to use it. And honestly, we make, a, this is a two ounce, uh, this is about 10,000 kilometers of riding in that bottle uh, because you just get such long single application life. Um, or, you know, uh, Luke, when he won the uh, Gravel Worlds 300 miles uh, just a couple weekends ago here, he was on a uh, secret chain blend with an endurance chip added, and then he carried a one ounce Synergetic just in case. He didn't end up using it, but uh, you know I think that's the conditions were pretty good. It was pretty pretty dry, minimally dusty, um, you know, r really nothing too gross or disgusting. But it sure is a nice insurance policy. Tiny enough you can keep it in a jersey pocket, and honestly, you can open it up and you can just you know run it on top of the uh, chain ring as you're pedaling to both re-lubricate and just flush some of that nasty garbage out of the way. So uh, I think I'll leave it at that. We'll uh, put the links up to Adam's testing that he's done showing uh, both the, the overall wear, the cumulative wear and the, or I guess the wear by block, the cumulative wear and the single application longevity uh, as he has tested it. Um, yeah, in the links below. And then please, what other questions do you have? Uh, the big one we get is the, why do you make it? When would I use it? But I'm sure there's more. Uh, they're pretty interesting products, and I know everybody wants to talk about wax, but, you know, the technology in these products is actually insanely high. Um, and I think, as we said in the, the speed chip launch, the Type 5 oil used in Synergetic is actually 
uh, converted into wax to make the speed chip product. So, you know, in a way, this product uh, you can think of as sort of the father of the speed chip product, um, but because that's the, the kind of where the technology has come from and how we've been able to develop that over these last few years. But I, I'm sure you guys have more questions. So please hit like, hit subscribe, tell your friends about our channel and uh, leave your questions and comments below. We look forward to answering them.